All right, let's go see what it's all about in the freezer that's not broken. Okay, got a fan out in the freezer that's not broken. My favorite thing of all time. And look at this, we've got three other fans not working over here. It's great. No, I'm just playing. So we got one, ah, two fans out over here. So we got five fans out in this freezer. So after I called, there's a company that monitors these, uh, that monitors them all remotely. So if I was to turn these off, without calling them, they would call in another service call. So I call them and I tell them I'm working on it for four hours so that no service calls get made. So now I can shut these things off. And well, usually when you shut the switch off, it stops flowing the refrigerant, but when that doesn't happen, turn these off. Just don't forget to turn them back on when you're done. So now that both manual valves are off, let's get started pulling these covers off. These are always half inch screws that hold them. Got ice all over the front of them. Look at that ice right there. That's crazy looking, huh? All right, got ice all, all up on these things. These things have been needing help for a while. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't really explain how that happened. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen this one before. There's got to be a leak, maybe from above the cooler. I don't know. Okay, wow, it's cold in there. Oh, well, look what I found—a hood. Well, I gotta say that's a first. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen water form ice quite like that from the top. Any guesses what it is? Well, either way, gotta go. Oh, well, that ain't no good. Yep, so, anybody doesn't know, your motor should not, should not do all that. Let's see if I can get it on camera, I don't know. Yeah, if your motor does that, it's no good. Your motor should be tight and should spin and stay that way. Not, not, and see this one won't even turn. When your motor moves like that, it is failed. Let's check the third one. That one works. So ECM motors are gonna turn like this. They're gonna have like a couple of spots in their rotation that they stop and they stay. You see how that's acting? Pretty interesting, huh? All right, looking at number four. Looks like this one's probably gonna work. Just had the fan was binded up. Yeah. Fan was binded up. From the ice. Not allowing it to spin. on it too bad. All right. Number Looks like that one works too. 
All right, so I'm thinking this is the only one that's bad. Looks like the uh, drain's plugged also. That would explain that. It goes in the defrost and it doesn't, uh, doesn't drain so it overflows and then it makes ice. Hit the switch, let's see. Yeah. That one's running, that one's running. Number two over there is not. Okay, so we got four running on the left evaporator. Okay, left evaporator, now to the right evaporator. Well, it looks like there we have it again. And I see it. I see where it is, what's causing it? I ain't gonna say it, I know y'all see it too. Well, I don't think there's really much I can do about that. Just gonna clear the ice away and uh, whatever motors are bad, replace them, whichever ones run, then cool, well they run, but we got one motor I'm gonna have to go get for sure. And check this out. Uh, we got a fan blade that's got some serious cracking going on. So does that one. So we're gonna check all the rest of them for cracks too. All right, I got these ones going <coughs> so far. And then, so I just need to put the four on over there. Sitting up there. I think I got one out here. I'm gonna take this one and get it replaced. But it's cracked, so it looks like I need one motor and one blade. All right, so to get these out, it's pretty simple most of the time. You just loosen these with like a crescent wrench and then you can take the whole thing out. But this one don't really wanna quite come loose with crescent wrench, so I'm gonna bring my bag of sockets up here whenever I bring the new motor. So that's the motor that I need. Gotta get the model and serial number. Anytime you need a part. All right, so I got my four fans in on the left side. The other fans are in. Right now it's in defrost. All right, so turn the manual valve back on, which I did. Then you just need to turn the switch on for this one and the manual valve on for that one. It's way too cold in here, man. Manual valve. All right, I'm gonna leave these fan covers off. Go make the phone call, try to find my fan motor and blade. All right, I got it. 13 millimeter. So you just get it out like one leg at a time, but it only works if your motor is attached to that, otherwise it hits the back of the coil or the front of the coil. I need back out here where I can think. God, it's cold. Like, yo, negative 10 is cold. So these go back in, just like two like that, up towards the corner. All right, so these go back in, you put like two up there towards the corner, and then you just get the bottom and then the top, and it goes. It can be tough though, if you're not used to it. There we go. Alrighty then, so let me just put these back on it. And then a new blade, but first, better plug it in. Otherwise, you have to take it back off to plug it back in. You make a, you make an easy mistake like me. 
of what happened yesterday. When things are cold, they just really don't want to bend very nicely. And it's much harder to do things when shit's cold. Come on, come on, man. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Take one of these. Put it around the plug and around the wire that's going into the the plug that it's being plugged into and you tighten them. Go more like that and then finish it off by cutting. Cut away from any other wires and away from yourself. Then put the blade and don't forget to tighten it. The blade, as you know, the set screw goes on the flat part of the shaft. Like that. Tighten it. When you get them new, like this one new, when they come new, you gotta turn them away to get them down there. Turn them like fucking two turns or something. I know it sucks to do this when it's freezing like this. the hell? That's some bullshit. Alright, I gotta straighten out my bracket. I need both hands for that, but I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna push it that way. The front, that way. And I'm gonna pull this one forward and this one gonna go back. You see? Then you get out for a second and you warm up. Then, after a couple minutes, get all these covers slammed in, but they go on a certain way. See how there's got like a ring around that one and not really as big a ring around there? See, there's two of them across from each other. Those go where those uh, nuts are. If not, it'll look all messed up. So, not with this one over here, but with that one over here. Yeah, then zip in your, your uh, half inch nuts. Okay, switch up. And we walk through, we got five fans running here and five fans running there. This job is done and I can finally, finally get out of that cold ass room. So, one motor and one fan blade. That's all it took. And, well, it's working again. I appreciate you watching.